The solidarity dividend, I think, is the key to the way forward, to understanding that the old zero-sum lie was created to justify an economic model and a societal model that we have long since tried to distance ourselves from. And so we need to find where that zero-sum lie is still being perpetuated and take it out root and branch. Educate ourselves and our neighbors on how to spot that lie and how to reject it. It's an audacious idea that we are stronger together, but it's an idea that I think each and every one of us holds. We can refill the pool of public goods together. And in fact, as we are having this conversation right now, thanks to the solidarity dividends that were won by a multiracial coalition over the past year, we are here at a time when the US poverty rate is the lowest level it has been on record. Because we finally recognize that poverty is a policy choice. Because the pandemic has awoken a sense of interdependence and mutuality. And because the movement for black lives, the largest social movement in American history, has made us realize that racism is still with us, that it is written in our laws and our policies, and that it's going to take a multiracial coalition to uproot it root and branch. That's the moment we're in. That's the story you just heard about this foundation. It's an exciting time and place to be because I do believe that when we fulfill that promise of rejecting the zero sum, attaining those solidarity dividends, refilling the pool of public goods, but this time for everyone, we will fulfill America's promise because we are a nation of ancestral strangers there's somebody here with a tie to every single community on the globe. And this is the fundamental question of our time. Who is an American? Who are we to one another? Who belongs? Who deserves? Who's in? If we can answer that question as our children want us to answer it, to truly mean everyone swimming together in the same pool, there's nothing we can't accomplish together. <laughs>